So if you're thinking about buying a season pass in Courchevel or Mirabel uh, this winter, uh, watch this video. Hopefully it'll give you some tips of the best ways of saving money. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. So unless you've been hiding under a rock this summer, you will have probably heard that all across the Alps, seasonal and resident lift passes have gone, disappeared. New rules have come in because, ironically, these lifts and chair lifts are designated as public transport. They, of course, can't uh, charge prices for people who live in different places. I know it's exactly the, I can't imagine a bubble having the same rules that a bus or a train has. Anyway, that's beside the point. Thanks, Macron. And that said non-ironically. Because of this, companies across the Alps have been working out ways of how to get the best offers for workers in the resort with, without breaking the new rules. I'm here to have a quick chat about the options that S3V are offering for Korshval and Meribel skiers. If you basically go to a website called saison.skipasskorshval.com, there is a, also the a same one for Meribel. Both of them will be listed down below. You will see that S3V offer you three options. Okay. If we go and have a look on the website, you can see the first option that we're giving is a web, is a, is an option called two seven. Okay, six hundred and sixty five euros per person, and it basically gives you two skiing days per week. Okay, uh, two days per week, consecutive or not. If something's consecutive, it's not. Uh, whoever's writing your website, that is that line is superfluous. Anyway, from Monday to Sunday, valid for the whole three valleys. Additional days charged at a full three day, three valley day pass, 66 euros. Uh, keep track of your uh, use boo email alerts. Again, somebody needs to, to proofread the English version of this website. But beside the point, this is ideal. This is ideal for people who are working under French contracts and they basically are given one, between one and two days off a week. If, of course, you have a job where you have more than two days off, thinking that you can not game the system, but maybe say, well, I'm going to get this 2.7 and I'm going to buy the odd upgrade when I need to. Those little upgrades, those extra 66 euros, all of a sudden start adding up greatly. OK, and if you took one every like other week, your price of your overall has gone well over a thousand euros. OK. But to give S3V their dues, 2.7 is for the people on French contracts you have one or two days off a week absolutely perfect for them i would out of these three i would give them a thumbs up for this one okay but again only if you fit that criteria okay the second one we're given which is called ski flex again the same price but instead of two days a week they're offering you 20 lifts per week now this is where it can get really confusing okay uh, valid for the whole three valleys, additional lifts between uh, beyond the 20, 10 euros each, up to a maximum per day of, of 66, which is a three valley lift pass. Uh, keep track of your use by email alerts. They managed to put the Y in that one. I can imagine this one would be a deal for people who are maybe the avid skiers and they every lunch break they take, they basically go get their skis and they go and zap around the, the, the Korshva Valley for like an hour or so. If, for instance, someone is working in 1850, uh, to get to the top of Salia takes a minimum of two lifts. I would imagine 
because of course someone broke the cilia that certain bubble lifts are going to be very busy and of course in this cl climate with covid and stuff because they're busy people won't want to share them and of course if you are of course on your lunch break you want to be out there skiing okay so again to get to the top of cilia you're looking at between three three and four lifts just to get to the top of cilia okay if you do one or two runs from there you're adding a few more lifts in there you could in essence without trying very hard use about six lifts a day okay so out of the 20 you use six okay so, however your mates who of course possibly have two seven passes say hey why don't you come to Valtteren with us the snow's great let's go uh, and of course you say and you're you are back of your mind you're possibly thinking how many day how many numbers do I have left uh, on my lift pass to get over to Valtteren takes between I'd say four to five lifts and again that's just like the top of Valtteren okay skiing around those lifts there you can you can rack up well nearly 20 lifts just purely from skiing round okay now one problem I have there whereas an email alert is fine for the 27 and this is my recommendation is if S3V are watching this that instead of because when you're out on the mountain and someone sends you an email you don't get an alert on that it just sits in your inbox and I know I well me personally I don't look at my inbox when I'm out skiing however instead of it being an email alert it should be an SMS alert that way it comes and tells you on your front screen you've got five lifts left four lifts left three lifts left two lifts left because when you hit that 20 if for instance you hit that 20 when you're in Valteren you've got to that's going to cut you next to like 40 50 euros just to come back again yeah and again all of a sudden your 665 euro pass is all of a sudden suddenly going to start creeping up towards you know the uh, over the thousand euro mark right and you you might not notice it like a frog in a in a in a boiling pot of water if you bring it up from a simmer the frog doesn't realize it's being boiled alive until it is okay it's a bad analogy but it works okay bear with me and so we're given to our third option there are actually four options here but th the, the third option which of course is jokingly called liberté because of course the French love to talk about liberté égalité and fraternity well the last two uh, aren't obviously being used here so they're going to say liberté now if somebody uh, wanted to choose choose that instead of the other two it would only be viable if you skied once every two weeks and really I would ask the question what are you doing in a ski resort buying a ski pass if you're not going to ski more than once every fortnight okay that's just my opinion okay I know I know work is work but you're up in a ski resort you should be making the most of every day off you have go skiing okay I know there are professional chefs or whatever who don't ski at all that's their prerogative good for them not having a pro it's the people who think about buying a season pass and then go for this option that I think can get very expensive very quickly let's just have a look at the details okay costed per day skied depending on the route taken three valleys or uh, uh, or Kushva Valley uh, so again uh, unless you actually leave the valley you get charged either 66 euros or uh, I think the price of a Kushva Valley pass is just under 60 euros which is an absolute joke of the difference in price of it but that's for another video okay uh, unlimited number of passages of course it is because of course uh, valid for the whole three valleys uh, you get the ninth day for free and then one free day for every six days used so again if you used it for 11 days you would basically get it for the same price as you would get for a 2.7 or a ski flex 
okay and as soon as you go over that you start having to pay yeah so again if you're thinking oh i get the liberté because you know i'm going to save money because it's only pay as you go i can imagine a lot of times where you you buy thinking you're saving money and again over time you're going to spend a day pass another day pass another day pass another day pass another day pass and all of a sudden you you will have again you would have gone over uh what the cost of a 27 pass is okay just that that's just my opinion on that okay of course we are we go to the fourth option which of course is slightly hidden it's not included in the other one and it says ski without limit an unlimited ski pass a full fat ski pass like i am used to in the past i have no problem paying full price for uh uh three value pass i've paid full price for years okay however the way that they have the, the they have done the pricing on the uh full full fat price I have a bit of a problem with I am what is classed as well ever since I was 18 I thought I was classed as an adult but apparently not for S3V okay when you hit 18 you can smoke drink fornicate join the army drive drive a heavy goods vehicle but apparently you are not classed as an adult by S3V, you're still classified as a young person until you hit 30. Funny, I missed all that when I was growing up. Anyway, I am over 30. And of course, I get to pay the most expensive of all the season lift passes. I'm paying 1,404 euros for my lift pass. Yeah. If I was under 30, I would be paying 980 euros for my lift pass. So that's 500 euro difference based on my age yeah now i understand that there's a there should be a price at that price of 980 euros should be for teenagers up until they're 18 okay then there should be another price for people who are 18 and over until you get to 75 and then of course you get a free lift pass yeah but i take slight offense to the fact that an adult who is 29 pays 500 euros less than me who is let's just say over 30. i i to, to me if someone can explain this to me uh i i i would love to know because uh, like i say i i i take offense from one adult being charged 500 euros less than i am charged okay but again that's just my opinion anyway i have just one more look, looking at uh, on their website looking at the advantages of buying a full fat season lift pass okay they say of course if you're using it more than 21 days you basically should buy a full fat season pass instead of going for one of their offers that is very that is a uh, uh, a very fine uh, um explanation however and it goes and points out and and again some of these maybe they maybe they get lost in translation one free one free skiing day in the three valleys unless of course they're giving it to you on a separate ski pass for someone else i don't know four free toboggan runs well i can imagine myself really using that uh free access to the verdon by night evening in courchevel now I wonder if the other ones, the two seven or any of those, also give you that option. Um, this is the, this next one. I can't work out. Okay, now back in the old days, yes, this is a really old lift pass, but I was trying to find one which where I'm not looking as bad or whatever. Used to be given two free days skiing in Espaskili and two free days skiing in Le Plan. Okay, which for here to get from here to any of those resorts is like hour and a half down the road it's a great option for going and going to ski in another resort okay however the options they're now saying is that you can now get a a few days ski pass in Vale 
America or Mount Bullet in Australia or Shiga Kogan uh, in Japan or La Parva or Valle Nevado which I think is in Chile. Now last time I looked at the map those aren't exactly easy places to get to okay and I have no idea why they would offer those. And finally the last one free access to the three valley lifts in the summer. Well considering that of the three lifts that were open this summer only two of them are still running because hey you broke one but I make another point about this in currently in all the ski resorts in the valley not in this valley but down the valley you have uh, Espace Kili, Teen Val d'Isère you have Paradiski, uh, Les Arcs Le Plan and you have loads of other ones they are all in an attempt to get people again to buy season passes with a bit of a discount on them uh, they are offering uh, season passes with like early bird they're calling them early bird sales so you buy it in November and you they'll give you 20 25 percent off a season pass which is absolutely great and then of course you go well, one second Spaskili Paradiski why isn't the three valleys doing this and I've been told from uh, uh, from by several people that of course it's the Mary that are complaining that they won't get enough revenue if they discount uh, an early price for the uh, for the season pass so if you have a problem with that uh, and you know they are the door to knock on and basically ask nicely that uh, why uh, they seem to find themselves so special compared to all the other resorts in the Compagnie des Alpes which uh, basically is an amalgamation of all the tourist offices around here. So there you have it. That was it. That was my hopefully not too long summary of all the lift pass prices for, se for the season 21-22 in Courchevel and Maribel for this winter. Uh, if you have any comments, please chuck them down below. Um, if you want more hopefully interesting uh, content uh, subscribe to the channel click the like button and hopefully I will see you all in the next video ciao and uh, if anybody wants to give me 1400 euros for a lift pass um, yeah uh, leave me a message down below uh, bank details we'll just do that okay ciao